Have you ever wondered about the celestial ballet that paints the night sky with an array of vibrant colors? This spectacle of nature, known as the Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis, has been a subject of awe and fascination since time immemorial. It's a grand performance that unfolds on the vast stage of the night sky, with curtains of shimmering light dancing to the silent symphony of the cosmos. The Northern Lights have been woven into the fabric of many cultures around the world, each interpreting the spectacle through the lens of their own beliefs and understandings. For the native Sami people of Scandinavia, these lights were the energetic leaps of souls departed. Far across the ocean, the Inuit of Alaska saw them as the spirits of animals they hunted. And in medieval Europe, their appearance was often considered an omen, signaling impending doom or divine favor. These mesmerizing lights have sparked curiosity and inspired countless stories, myths and legends. They've been the muses for poets, the compass for explorers, and the enigma for scientists. The Northern Lights have played many roles, but throughout the ages, they've remained a constant, a timeless spectacle that captivates the human imagination. But what exactly gives rise to this celestial ballet? What causes these ethereal drapes of color to waltz across the night sky, casting a spell on anyone fortunate enough to witness them? The answers lie in the intricate dance between the sun and our planet, a dance choreographed by the invisible forces of the universe. Indeed, the Northern Lights are more than just a beautiful display of nature. They're a testament to the intricate connections between the sun, the earth and our atmosphere. They're a reminder of the cosmic ballet that's constantly unfolding above us, often unseen but always present. The Northern Lights, a beautiful mystery that has captured the human imagination for centuries. But what causes this breathtaking spectacle? As we delve deeper into the enigma of the skies, we'll unravel the science behind this cosmic performance, illuminating the mysteries of the Northern Lights, and revealing the secrets of the universe they dance within. As captivating as the Northern Lights are, they are not an act of magic, but a fascinating play of physics and chemistry in our atmosphere. Let's unravel this mystery together, starting with the sun, our very own star. The sun isn't just providing us with light and warmth, it's also constantly emitting a stream of charged particles known as solar wind. This wind embarks on a journey of about 93 million miles, all the way from the sun to our planet. And sometimes, these winds are particularly strong, causing what we call a solar storm. Now here's where the Earth's magnetic field comes into play. This invisible shield protects us from these solar winds. But at the North and South Poles, the magnetic field is weakest. So some of these charged particles manage to sneak in and collide with the gases in our atmosphere. This is where the magic, or rather the science, happens. As these particles hit the atmospheric gases, they transfer their energy to them. When the gases return to their normal state, they release this energy in the form of light, creating the spectacle we know as the Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis. But what about the different colors we see in these lights? Well, that's down to the type of gas the solar particles are colliding with. Oxygen, for instance, gives off a green or red light, depending on the altitude of the collision. Nitrogen, on the other hand, can produce blue or purple light. The combination and intensity of these colors can vary, depending on solar activity and atmospheric conditions, which makes each aurora unique. So, the next time you gaze upon the vibrant hues of an aurora, remember, you're witnessing a cosmic dance between the sun and the earth. This dance is not just a visual treat, but a testament to the intricate and awe-inspiring processes happening in our universe every single moment. And that, my friends, is the science behind the spectacle. While the Northern Lights are a sight to behold, catching a glimpse of this spectacle isn't always easy. But, with a bit of knowledge and the right timing, you can increase your chances of witnessing this mesmerizing light show. Let's start with the when. The Northern Lights, also known as Aurora Borealis, are more likely to make an appearance during the winter months. This is due to the longer, darker nights, and an increase in solar activity. The best time to see them is usually between September and March. But remember, the aurora is a bit of a diva, she won't perform on demand, 
you need clear dark skies, away from city lights and moonlight. So, plan your chase around the new moon phase, and prepare for some late night vigils. As for the wear, you'll want to head north, closer to the poles. Countries like Norway, Iceland, Canada and Alaska in the United States are prime viewing spots. These places lie in what's known as the Auroral Oval, a ring around the magnetic North Pole where auroras are most frequently seen. The further north you are, the better your chances. But don't be disheartened if you can't travel that far. Under the right conditions, the lights can be seen much farther south. In fact, they've been spotted as far south as New Mexico in the United States and Rome in Italy. And while we're on the subject of locations, let me also mention that there's a southern counterpart to these lights, the Aurora Australis, or the Southern Lights. They can be viewed from high southern latitudes in Antarctica, Chile, Argentina, New Zealand, and Australia. Chasing the Northern Lights is an adventure, a journey into the cold dark night with the hope of catching a fleeting ethereal performance. It takes patience, persistence, and a good deal of warm clothing. But the reward, oh the reward, is a sight that will leave you spellbound. With a bit of planning and a dash of luck, you too can witness this cosmic ballet. The Northern Lights do more than just light up our night skies, they give us insight into the happenings of our sun. So what is the link between these beautiful ethereal lights and space weather? Well, to begin with, the Northern Lights, also known as Aurora Borealis, are caused by the interaction between the solar wind, a stream of charged particles ejected from the sun, and our Earth's magnetic field. Now, how does this relate to space weather? Space weather is essentially the conditions in space caused by the sun. Just like our Earth has weather patterns, the sun too has its own weather, solar storms. These are explosive bursts of radiation and charged particles into space. And when the Earth comes in its path, our magnetic field protects us. But here's the fascinating part. These solar storms can dramatically increase the intensity and extent of the northern lights. So by studying these lights, scientists can learn more about the timing and intensity of these solar storms. And this, indeed, is crucial. Why? Because although our magnetic field shields us from the harmful effects of solar storms, these storms can still cause disruptions. They can interfere with satellite operations, navigation systems, and even electrical power grids. By understanding the northern lights and their relationship with solar storms, scientists can predict and prepare for these disruptions. This is similar to how meteorologists study weather patterns on Earth to forecast storms and prepare for their impact. So the next time you see those mesmerizing hues dancing in the night sky, remember, it's not just an astronomical ballet, it's a cosmic weather report in action, an ethereal heads up from our sun. And right there, in those dancing lights, lies the potential to unlock more secrets of our sun, to predict its moods, and to safeguard our planet from its solar temper tantrums. The northern lights thus are not just a spectacle, but a window into understanding our sun and its moods. The northern lights continue to fascinate us, a testament to the endless wonders of our universe. As we've journeyed together through the enigma of the skies, the science behind the spectacle, the thrill of the chase, and the links to space weather, we've untangled the tapestry of this celestial ballet, revealing its magic and mystery. Let's recap our cosmic voyage. The northern lights, or aurora borealis, are a cosmic dance orchestrated by the sun. Solar winds, charged particles hurled into space, journey across the vast expanse, and when they collide with the Earth's magnetic field, they paint the sky with a mesmerizing palette of greens, purples, and pinks. The best time to watch this spectacle? During the equinoxes, when day and night stand in perfect balance, and the best locations? The polar regions, where the Earth's magnetic field is strongest. But remember, patience is key. Like all of nature's greatest shows, the Northern Lights keep their own time. The Northern Lights are not just a feast for the eyes, they're also a window into our universe. They are our sentinels of space weather, warning us of solar storms that can disrupt our modern way of life, affecting everything from satellite communications to power grids. 
Yet amidst all the science, the Northern Lights hold on to their magic. They've inspired countless tales and traditions, from the Vikings who saw them as the glow from the shields of the Valkyries, to the indigenous Sami people who believed they were the spirits of their ancestors. So as we stand under the night sky, let's appreciate this spectacle for what it is. A dance of particles and light, a symphony of science and art, a testament to the beauty and mystery of our universe. Remember, every time the sky dances with colors, it's the universe putting on a show, inviting us to marvel at its wonders. The Northern Lights, a spectacle of science, beauty and mystery, truly are a gift of the cosmos.